Hello, I'm Mark Hall Patton. I'm the administrator of the Clark County Museum System, and I want to welcome you today to one of the historic houses we have out here. This is the Beckley House. This was originally built in 1912, and this year it's celebrating its centennial. The house was the home of Will and Leva Beckley. Photograph here of the family. This is Will Beckley and Leva Beckley and Virginia and Bruce Beckley, the kids. The house was lived in by Will until his death in 1965, and Leva continued to live in the house until 1978. It was the last home in downtown Las Vegas. It was actually on 4th Street in downtown. In 1979, in order to save the house, it was going to be bulldozed there. We moved it out here to the Clark County Museum site, and it became the first home on Heritage Street out here. Now, Heritage Street is a collection of historic homes, and I hope in the future you'll be able to come out and see them. In this case, though, the home came with all the original furnishings. We're going to take you around and show you some of the original furnishings from the Beckley family. As you enter the house, you see the, the living room area. The house did not come with central heat originally, and it did have its own fireplace, but later heating was added. But this was before we had air conditioning. So the large eaves on the outside kept the front of the house much cooler, and it was a much more pleasant house to live in. It's considered the California bungalow style. This is the bedroom, and the, again, the original furnishings here. This is Leva Beckley, whose home it was on the wall. This is the dining room in the Beckley house. This is the Beckley's original dining room furniture. You can see it was quite a nice house. Um, actually cost $2,500 to build in 1912. Will Beckley was a haberdasher, which meant he had a men's store. And in this room, which was actually added onto the house during the lifetime of the Beckleys, we have a small display about the Beckley family, Will Beckley's, uh, Beckley's Men's Store, which is a major store downtown, and sold high-end suits and, and hats, the sort of thing that you needed, the well-dressed man needed in Las Vegas in its day. Uh, life in Las Vegas in the 1920s, 19-teens and 1920s wasn't quite what it is today. Today we take, for example, ice for granted. We take, we have a, a refrigerator and that's where we make our ice. In the 19-teens we had an ice box and you would actually order ice and put it in the ice compartment there. That would be closed up and that would keep the rest of the ice box cool. You had a Hoosier, this type of uh, kitchen cabinet was called a Hoosier. And that was where you kept a lot of what you needed for cooking. And as the house, as the family expanded, uh, the house, the, the Beckleys actually added on a kitchen onto the back of the house. And later on added in back of the house, a washroom so that they could do their laundry outside. Now before you had the ice boxes, you actually had what were called desert coolers. These would fill the top with water, water would drip out of the bottom, go down through the burlap on the sides, and as it evaporated, you would lose about 15 degrees of temperature inside, so it was much cooler inside than outside. And this was actually the first kind of cooler that we used in Las Vegas. The house was moved to the museum site in 1979 and was opened in 1983 to the public and it's been open ever since. We want to note uh, particularly the Clark County Museum Guild, the Junior League and the Mesquite Club, all three of whom came together to help provide the funding to both move the house out here and restore it and make it available to the public. It is out here, you can come out and see it anytime you're at the museum. And again, we're open seven days a week. So I hope you'll come out here and see the Clark County Museum. We're at 1830 South Boulder Highway. We're open seven days a week, nine to 430, and it's $2 admission. It's the best bargain in the Valley. So come out and see the Beckley House and all the other historic houses and natural history areas we have here at the museum. We look forward to seeing you.